We're here with Jace, Jojo, Ailani, Clarissa, and Emily. And we're going to be talking about the Russian Revolution. So the Russian Revolution overthrew the imperial government and placed Bolsheviks in power and paved a way for the rise of communism. It involved Vladimir Lenin, the Romanov family, and obviously the Bolsheviks. While Nicholas was at the front fighting of the war, his his wife, Alexand- Alexander, was left in charge of the country. She was inf- very influenced by the Holy, Rome, Ro- Holy Man Rasputin and um, the Romanovs. They were very unpopular, and by 1917, they were f- there were food and fuel shortages. High unemployment meant that ch- the huge numbers of people were living in poverty. People were dying, and like three events that occurred were the Bloody Sunday, uh, the February Revolution, and the uh, October Revolution. Yes, yeah. and at the end of this, the Mo- Romanov family ended up being executed at the Winter Palace. Yes, yeah. not at in the Winter Palace when they were in hiding. Yeah. Yes, and then we're gonna be talking about the Holocaust. Yes. Which was the rise of Hitler. Hitler. And the cause, like, leading to World War Two. Yeah. So and, and he blamed, it. it was mostly about how he sent Jewish people into and he concentration camps and everything. Because he blamed them for the loss of World War One, And he yeah. wanted to create his own race, Aryan race, which was mm-hmm. blonde hair, blue eyes. And basically he wanted to take over the European country and spread his ideas of Nazi... Um, Beliefs, and that was basically the rise of Hitler and what led to the World War Two. Yeah, well, yeah, the Spanish Civil War. Yeah. It was. It started in 1936 and it ended in 1939. It was one of the bloodiest conflicts in Western Europe that had experienced since World War One, and it was w- the breeding ground for mass atrocious. About 200,000 people died as a result of the cinematic killings and mob violence. Franco's reign violated human rights against against the Spanish people. He violated them in many ways, such as establishing concentration camps, executions, and against political and ideological enemies and the use of forced labor. This all resulted on an average of 200,000 to 400,000 deaths to occur in more than 194 concentration camps. And that was that. So we'll see you in our news broadcast. Power 40 Live with Clarissa and Emily. June 6, 1944, D-Day occurred. D-Day was an invasion on the Germany beaches. The significance of this event was to stop the expansion of Germany, Germany Nazi. It resulted in the capture of five beaches and the Allies had liberated Paris and the Germans had been removed from northwestern France. It was a turning point in the war. Now passing it on to Ailani and Georgia. So now we're going to be talking about the Korean War and Vietnam War. So North Korea invaded South Korea. North Korea was a communist government and both were claiming that they were the legitimate government. North Korea was belonged to the Soviet Union and South Korea was kind of its own. It was just being like guided by the United States and the Allies. Um, so there was no winner between the Korean War. Um, North Korea remains a socialist government and South Korea remains a republic and the Korean Peninsula remains divided today. Yeah, and then Vietnam War, it was North Vietnam versus South Vietnam, and South Vietnam was with the United States, while the North Vietnam was with the Soviet Union, and they both, North and the Soviet Union, wanted to spread, spread communism, while the while South Vietnam wanted to stop that. And then in the end, North Vietnam won, and then Vietnam became the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. During the crisis took place in the U.S. Embassy in Thailand, where we took over 50 American citizens because we got involved. During 1981, it was resulted by diplomacy and after 444 days, they were released. The Berlin Wall was put up to keep people from going into the West during the Communist and Republican War, but we're going to be escaping. Stop! North and the Soviet Union wanted to spread, spread communism while, the, while South Vietnam wanted to stop that. And then in the end, North Vietnam won, and then Vietnam became the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. During the crisis took place in the U.S. Embassy in Thailand, where we took over 50 American citizens because we got involved. During 1981, it was resulted by diplomacy, and after 444 days, they were released. The Berlin Wall was put up to keep people from going into the West during the Communist and Republican War, but we're going to be escaping.
Um, here we then interview with the representatives of the U.S. and the Soviet Union. So first things first, who made the first, who made the scientific advancement first, which was setting the first satellite to space? Obviously the Soviets. Right. So which country got a living organism in space then? Again, the Soviets, obviously. Duh. How's a living organism? It's dead, but we can make improvements. Sure you can. All right, okay. then. So who got the first man in space? I, again, the Soviets mm. were just that. You, you just orbited it. the Earth. Let's be real. What have you done? I've done many. Just wait. I'm sure there okay, are so questions. Then who got the first person to orbit the moon? Oh. Who? Me. Me. Uh, we did three things. You did only like one. What? All right. Next mm. question. Next question is who got the first man on the moon? Oh, was that you? Yeah. I right. don't think so. It was me. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you for your time here. And so we'll the see. Soviets are better. No, Make they sure. are. No, they aren't. Make okay. sure you should yeah. come to the USA. We no, have... you should come to the Russia. There's no communism. So here we are after the almost missile war with the representatives of the U.S. and the Soviets. So who started this crisis? I did. I sent missiles to Cuba. Okay. Then what happened during the crisis? So what had happened was after they sent nuclear missiles to Cuba, I installed, well, my president installed missiles in Turkey and Italy. And he also installed the naval blockade, which kept us safe from the Soviets and their other missiles. All right. Then how did it all end? Our presidents got together and they solved this problem. Yeah, your president started a war and was the first one to reach out to end it. Yes, I was very humiliated. Whew. Um, you guys do not understand how many tries that took. That like took 50 million well, tries. Was a... So now we're going to be talking about the no Korean War and... <laughs> now we're going to be talking about the Korean War and the, the Vietnam War. So the, that's basically what happened. Yeah. And the United States got involved. It was part of like the Cold War. Yeah, and then in v the Vietnam War, it was North Vietnam and South Vietnam, and then North Vietnam was allied with the USSR, the Soviet Union, and was led by communism government. They wanted to spend, spread communism. Wow. I messed up. <laughs> On June 6, 1944, D-Day occurred. Guys, I cannot see. There's the five beaches, and the Allies had liberated Paris, and the Germans had been removed from northwestern France. It had impacted a turning point in the war. They were fighting to liberate and and guys. Okay. Which country got a living organism in space? Who do you think? Of course, me. Duh. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Jojo, that was perfect. <laughs> Which country got a living organism in space then? Who do you think? The Soviets again. Duh. How's a living organism? It's dead, but we can improve. <laughs> Jojo! We'll just cut it out, just cut it out. Okay, it out. we'll continue. Okay, ready? One. I'll cut it out, I'll try to cut it out. Okay. Okay, so then, who got the first person in space then? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. 